What's up guys? We're here with a new game of Civ 4 and it's finally time to do Earth 18 Civs again. Seems to be a lot of requests on this, but really I need to get the motive to do it because it's such a long map. Um, and I don't want to do it too often because it's very repetitive. So we're going to do America. Um, I think it would be interesting. Something different because we've done Egypt, which is like Africa, and we've done um, Spain, which is Europe. And those kind of games just end up eventually with a huge world war against China because they have 50 cities and they're a monster. So, we're going to play Rizavolt. Um, we're going to do this not on Noble, not on DD either. Doing it on Immortal, but I want to go for space. I don't just want to go for a silly conquest, I want to go for a space race. Um, I think it would be fun. So, and it's not exactly simple because we have to deal with the whole isolation thing while defending ourselves from a warmonger who's going to slam his head into us, this guy right here. And then, um, yeah, try and win space from isolation, pretty much, because Hyena Capac is just... Uh, basically a city-state from Civ 5 or something. He just like, sits in the corner with his, like, three cities doing nothing the whole game. He ends up more uh, behind than the Barbarians. Um, it's a non-factor. It doesn't count as anything. Um, anyway. So, we're basically semi-isolated with Montezuma. Montezuma's dangerous. So, early and mid game will be very interesting, for sure. And, yeah, we've got to fight him off, take him out, while keeping ourselves up in tech. Um, it should be fun. And I'm doing this on Immortal because I don't just want to go for silly domination and wipe out the whole world. I want to go for space. Um, which means not killing everyone and just trying to play peacefully. And we're gonna go mass cottages. We may even use like emancipation and stuff like that and build 10 billion cottages because there's a lot of grasslands. I don't know, this could be real interesting. If I'm gonna play this map, I'm gonna play like different styles. So I did get some requests for playing as Hyanna as well. Um, Yes, you can do that, but I think Roosevelt is a lot more interesting, personally, because um, you're next to Monty, you can't just freely expand. And we get really good use out of his traits, it should be a lot of fun. If you're playing as Hyanna or Tokugawa, and you're struggling to win, I think up to and including a mortal, a culture victory is a pretty safe bet. But it's just not the most interesting kind of thing. So, yeah, but, um, yeah, you can win up to Immortal with maybe even Didi if you play it well, um, by going Culture with those two sieves. As for Arabia, I'm not too sure, but I know you start with horses, so maybe you can horse start to rush your way out of the rough start there. Um, people are talking in the comments about those sieves being very challenging, so there's some solutions. But, um, yeah, anyway, we're doing America because I think it's fun. We're gonna leave tech trading on. This will make it harder for us because we're basically isolated or semi-isolated half the game while everyone else trades like crazy. So that will make it harder. And yeah, I'm willing to take on the challenge. I think no tech trading helps us more to be honest. Okay. Industrious, great, we want to build the Great Lighthouse. Organized, great, we also want to build the Great Lighthouse. So, I mean, hell yeah, this is your unique resource for building it faster. <laughs> um, we also get cheaper forges, cheaper national wonders. Um, Oxford University, maybe. Organize is going to be great when we get big, where eventually, once we take out Monty, we are going to get massive. We're going to take, you know, the whole North and hopefully South America, or some of South America, and 
be a monstrously huge sieve and that is where organized comes in huge your cheaper lighthouses your cheaper courthouses also cheaper forges the that the reduced civic upkeep um you know that scales based off the size of your empire if you're a small empire with five cities you pay like 20 gold civic upkeep at a thousand ad so organized doesn't do much it only saves you 10 gold but if you've got like 50 cities wow you're gonna pay like 100 or 200 gold civic upkeep and then now you're saving hundreds of gold potentially so yeah scales a lot with the size of your empire so organized will be really good for us industrious should be fairly good and we'll get some great play out of these traits fishing agriculture um pretty nice starting text i don't think you can complain too much it's like you have something useful no matter where you start if you're inland or on the coast you've got something no matter what even if you have a plane to cow start you know you still get agriculture to get to animal husbandry it's a really versatile kind of flexible tech combo that you can't go wrong with i think um and basically tells us we can go straight to like animal husbandry or bronze working um, unique unit is uh, Marine extra first strikes, I think, and March. Uh, it's cool, but like, if you're going industrialism, just build the tank. Two movement, 28 strength, only 20 more hammers. So, I mean, yeah, just build a tank, dude. It's, it's better. Um,. Mole is a really nice building, and I might go for these because money, health, happiness in one building is pretty insane. Regular supermarket is just health. This gives you money, it's still the health, and happiness. So, like, that's really nice, I think. Um, obviously, we need these resources, but we might get them. Someone else might get them. We can trade for them. So, not too hard to get those. Um, hell yeah. I like him. He's a good leader. It's just difficult to utilize these traits in a standard Pangea. So this is the map where he'll be great. All right. I want the hut. Um. Your orders. The guy should settle the city first and then it guarantees that these won't be hostile or whatever. I don't know. So, I've seen the map before, kind of, I know that I need to settle here. I've watched Mediocre Attempts play as America, and I've played as America myself about a year ago, so I kind of know generally where most stuff is. I know there's iron somewhere in the capital, there's copper somewhere else. Stuff like that, yeah. So, that's just a disclaimer, in case you're wondering why I kind of know where I'm going a bit. It's because it's the same map with the same resources in the same spots every single time it happens. That's why I don't play it too often. And it's, um, yeah. It gets really boring if you just know where everything is. Like, look at this. I can just... I know I need to move to grab marble. It's, um, yeah. But anyway. Oh. Nature herself has Hell yeah, dude. On the minds of all, the idea of God. <laughs> Should play with these things more often. Now, if only the AI didn't start with, like, four recon units, it would be... Pretty cool. Um, so we start with a deer, which is interesting, but it's actually a really nice tile. It's like a wheat next to a lake. Five food, one hammer when it's improved. So a really nice food source. So we're going to go hunting first and improve that. Um, and then we're going to work boat it up. Um, I put the speed to epic because it's a huge map units take ages to get around on huge maps it's not very realistic having a thousand years for a unit to go from one end of america to another so we're toned down the speed a little bit just to help with that a bit so yeah units can get around a bit easier um i think it helps make these big maps less difficult and painful just annoying you know it's like you build an army of knights and trebs you march over to someone by the time you get there they have rifling it's like well okay cool 
And then, yeah. Anyway, um, hunting first. Oh yeah, I turned off Vassal States, I think. I should have talked to you about these before, but um, yeah. Vassal States because people like Cyrus love everyone and then they get like seven vassals for doing literally nothing. I think that's stupid. Like, if people want a vassal, they need to attack and destroy. Um, just conquer stuff. Uh, it's fine in a normal map, because piece of vassaling rarely happens, or only maybe one guy vassals to another, but Cyrus will get like five vassals on this map. It's really stupid. Okay, hunting! Um, yeah. Let's see if there's like a village. I know there's one here. I don't think I can beat Monty to that unless my warrior starts like here though. So I'm gonna try going for village up in the north somewhere. I don't know where the hell the villages are to be honest, but I know there's one there and there and that's about it. We're going for it. Go, go, go. Four turn five. So the other thing about this map is because it's pre-generated even though I turned huts off, huts are still there, and then... Um... The starting tanks on the AI remain the same, and the barbarians... I'm not gonna go on a wild builder and give them their starting tanks, they can deal with it. Is there a hut up there somewhere? I don't know what's going on, dude. Oh god. Yeah, go that way. He's annoyed already. Okay. What's your problem? Hope he dies to the bear. Give me a hut. If you chase two rabbits, you will lose them both. Um, mining bronze working, I think. We're gonna farm that marble with our agriculture starting tech. That'll be a really nice tile, and then we're gonna go mine that, and then chop and put some more mines down. Essentially. I don't know where the freaking huts are, to be honest. Trying to find something. That's the point. Hopefully, you're gonna get bad too much. Not finding much, it's very unfortunate. Maybe Monty's going the right way. Ooh, okay, I'll take that. Oh, yeah. Probably should heal. Okay, Woodsman won. Yeah, look at this worst enemy, dude. He's gonna come for us. I don't even know what his problem is. He's being a bit moody, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, thanks. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away Another small stones. All right, bronze working. Ugh, twenty-eight turns. Yeah, yikes. Not only does the epic speed slow it down, but also the fact that um, it's a huge map. Cautious? He's cautious. He's happy now. Oh, okay. That's nice. He's chilled out a bit. We'll get the years of peace strength in our relation bonus. Should keep him at cautious for a little while. I don't know. He's just having moody days or something. Woke up the wrong side of the bed kind of feeling. Understandable dude. Morves. Oh no, is there a hut over here? I'm exploring Alaska, bro. Hell yeah. Uh, yes, let's do that and get the boat out, and then we want a couple warriors after that, so we can, um, fog bust our stuff. Ooh.
<laughs> hey. Yes, dude, let's go. Yes. Okay, there's no huts over here apparently, that's unfortunate. Um No, there really isn't, okay. Uh, yeah, double corn over there. Still seven turns to go. Um, could build a farm here. I won't finish it, but we'll build it. For a little bit now. We can't hit size 5 just yet, so. Yeah, we're gonna get this warrior not grow and go immediately to a dude. Try and get this guy home. I don't know if it's possible, but we'll give it a go. I want to go, like, here, somewhere here. Um, double corn would be nice, but I want to go toward Monty, kind of, and block the land. Because he's a bastard. This guy I want to go fog bust on that side. Remember to cancel that. So, he likes to go here somewhere, and then he likes to come over here. So, I wanted to put a thing there, I believe, and maybe there. I think I like the one here. This one, um, on the river, immediately connected to the capital, gets the corn, shares this, can share a cottage, can share more cottages. Want to use every single river tile, so yeah, we're gonna go here. And then I'll settle this one a bit later. Double corn is nice, but it's important to secure a good position. It's also across a river, kind of, so... Defensive. Um... Two... One... I think I can do this one more turn. At your service. Now we start our journey home. Still got wolves, that's good. Let's get some XP. There's copper. It is entirely seemly for a young man killed in battle to lie mangled by the bronze spear. In his death, all things appear fair. We'll do that when our settler's on the move. Now, I think we want to go wheel pottery before sailing masonry, Great Lighthouse. I want to expand, get cottages, and then build the Great Lighthouse a bit after. I don't want to, um... Yeah. <clears throat> don't want to... Screw our economy. I want to get pottery really quickly because we also have fishing and agriculture, so pottery will be really cheap. Which is nice. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go wheel pottery. Gives our workers stuff to do as well. It's still very early, as you can see. We're doing fine for size 4 capital. I mean, hey, check it out, dude. Check it out. Hell yeah. Because I popped a tech from a hut and I have pretty good early commerce, I think. Gaming, dude. And good starting techs.
Nice, that finishes that. Oh, that's perfect. Hell yes, dude. Okay, so that's gonna go right here. Now, I don't think I have time to really put a mine here, so we're gonna just do this now. Um, quick worker here. Uh, use this guy to improve that tile, and yeah. Awaiting your orders. It's possible there's a wolf there, so. Woodsman 2 is pretty cool though. Yes. Move out. Reporting for duty. I missed that call, but that's okay. We're gonna get that later. I think we go on the hill actually. Yeah, and then we're gonna put a thing up there. We just gotta take it slow. I like settling nice and close here. I might go one in and then I should have switched into slavery, to be honest. Um, but I oh, will do that when this worker comes out, which is okay. Uh, barbarians won't enter for a little while, so we have, um, some time here to try to fog bust a little bit. Yeah, that's right, we want to go on that hill, get the gold and the corn, eventually get that and the deer that's in the forest there that I know about. Okay, we have this jackass here, um, and he's got a buddy, apparently. Interesting. Might get attacked. Yes, dude. I want to put that guy out there and fog bust as many tiles as possible. Um, hell yeah. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Good start. I think that's a decent position. This guy is covering a lot of tiles here. I just need another one over there, really. Can't really grow, can I? So... I think I want to mine and be good long term and stuff and yeah. I think this is fine. If I go here I create a hole here and here, so he's in a pretty good spot, as is I think. We might honestly just go straight to another settler. Might be the play. Just expand, expand, expand fast. Great wall. Was that Monty? Did he build anything? Pretty early wonders for Immortal, as you can see, so we can't. Stuff around too much with the Great Lighthouse, but we're on an okay pace, I think, at the moment. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna go for a settler in here and here. So we're gonna chop this and then chop this, I think. I want double settlers. But I kinda want more than three warriors at the same time. They will enter around, I don't know, 1700 BC or something. A lot of the civs are stuck at one city. Well, not a lot, but a handful of them are stuck at one city. Or two cities or whatever. So the barbs might enter a little bit later than usual because they come in when the average number of cities between the players is three. <clears throat> 
so a little bit later than your standard Penjay. Also, they, um, I think they still start with a worker, but yeah, they only start with one warrior and scouts or whatever. I don't know. No, it's interesting. Yes, Monty. Oh, that's unlucky, dude. I should be able to win this, yes. Let's hope. I'm gonna whip that. That will help with fog busting quite a bit. I think it's a good choice. Nice, that actually helps. I should put this guy here to cover these three tiles, really. him off as you can see we're kind of creating a line but don't forget we whipped a monument so we're getting a border pop in here thanks um, tribal village for mysticism it's gonna come in handy border pop here will also really help with the fog busting and yeah we'll block off this whole area for Monty which means we get all this to settle once we get enough land and some copper we might go kick his ass We don't really want to chop a warrior, so I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. Well, okay, the chop will give 30 hammers. Is 30 hammers... it will be too many, won't it? Or will it? Hold on. The, um, 22... So, I can't have more than 22 overflow. I'm gonna gain 30 hammers. I need 9 hammers, plus 30, nine, plus 22, that's 31. We might be fine, actually. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Don't end up wasting yes. anything, just barely. Um, so any overflow... If you're overflowing more than the unit that you just built costs, so if your overflow is more than 22, hammers will be lost, but the overflow is 21, I believe. 22 exactly, so it's okay, guys. It's, it's okay. We have it under control. Hell yeah, dude. I want the forest in New York, because this city's a lot harder to get a settler in. Um, I'm gonna assume Monty has the south kind of covered, our border pop will pop before barbs come in as well. So we're gonna fill this gap in and then get this guy to go back up here and push out a little bit. And then I want one more guy over here, but um, that has to wait. Um, I think I'll wait until pottery and then I will yes. finish the growth to size 2. Uh, we still have lions actually, so yeah, lions... Yes. I appreciate their existence and they can just chill with us to be honest. Yeah, look at him, he's over here. Yeah, that's gross. So I want to go here if he doesn't go there first. That'll be number 4, but number 3 will be that one. Gold will be good to get. Um, so I might keep this guy here and just have a, this dude fill this gap here if it doesn't get me killed. Yes. I guess I can. Yeah, it's, it's safe. Hath not the potter power over the clay to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Right. This chop will go into something. I don't know what. Maybe warriors for fog busting. 
now we go sailing masonry and start pushing Great Lighthouse because we're about to have four cities. It's really not wasting any time with our expansion here. We will need a warrior for happiness. I'm just going to have maybe too much overflow to be doing that. Uh, no. 43? There'll be 21 left over, but that's okay. Get two warriors out. I think that's more useful. Oh, what about a five-turn worker? That's pretty helpful because we've got lots of stuff to do. I think I can do the worker because I'm kind of on top of the fog busting thing here. So yeah, let's do that. Now, nice thing is this guy can take this and you can take the other mine, so hell yeah. Tell me what to do. Okay, that won't be too far away. I reckon Tell this guy can head here immediately and we start working on improving that. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, we have a turn spare. Uh, what to do? Could cottage for a couple turns. It's probably the most. a bit, don't mind me. Ready for action. Awaiting your orders. What's the plan? Awaiting your orders. Ready for action. Reporting for duty. So if he goes here, I will go over here or something. Okay, gonna put a pop here. Tell me what to do. I think that allows us to go up here though. Tell me what to do. Awaiting your orders. I have one more turn because I still have to go onto the hill. Um and then wait another turn and settle. I can go here, but then, uh, yeah. So one more turn of doing this cottage and then this guy will finish the cottage. So we're kind of getting ourselves ready here. New York. just send two workers here to help um let's get the cottage done and then yeah maybe i will do that to be honest oh that's unfortunate it's like one hammer off dude well we'll be able to one turn a warrior with all that overflow what do you need you can count on us okay they won't enter yet but they will soon awaiting your orders And I kind of want to block off the barbs from entering from that side too by having a unit here. I should stop their entry, I believe, if you block the path. Stuff like that happens. I can actually put that guy here. That's being fog busted for now. Water pop will help as well. Okay, yeah, finish that. Okay, this is totally okay, yep.
can't work. Well, we could. Yeah, but we grant unhappiness. Don't do that. I reckon I could swap a turn or two early, though. And that guy's gonna speed up this farm a bit. I reckon I can chop out one more settler while I'm waiting for sailing and masonry and stuff. That lion is still chilling at 2000 BCGs. This is fog busted by the worker. We have a nice thing happening here. Next turn, I can switch that. Help with the farm. Now, 2000 BC, this is where we start checking for him having a Jaguar. So, he will attack us when he researches ironworking, basically. We have to be careful. For sure. Now we switch this, and this isn't any slower, so hell yeah, perfect timing on that. And, yeah, I'm gonna go for a really quick, cheeky settler. Before Grey Lighthouse. you're just gonna sit there for happiness. I'm blocking the path here so they should not be able to possibly route to this city which is nice from the peak side they will just come from here and we'll probably want another guy over here this is not substantial for everything that's gonna spawn up here. Got our border pop eat that Hell yeah. Unfortunately, we have that stupid tile there, but. Reporting for duty. Tell me what to do. Yeah, it's okay for now. Reporting for duty. I like the position. Reporting I might go here. Uh, this one, I'm not too sure about. Maybe like that. Cover this gap here. Okay, we're gonna grab this quickly. Get the gold, research and happiness, nice to have. Chop the monument first. Then we'll do a size 2 worker, I reckon. Or a warrior for a bit of support. You can't direct the wind. It's very nice of him to do that for me. This is where we piss him off. <laughs> Ready for action! Reporting for duty. Tell me what to do. I think I will chop the boat really quick first for what this guy mean? here. Well, not the boat, the monument, so I can actually get that tile. Yeah. Um. You can count on us. Settled it so if he gets another border pop, he's not putting pressure on the city I have. Selling there would be really dangerous, but he is a lot safer. So we get a monument, then we get the fish, pretty much. If he turns later, that would be nice. Could go archery now, but we really need um, masonry. Starting to tank our research a bit as well. Um, 7 gold, but we're up to 25 beakers, so maybe we're okay, hey? We're okay. Gold. Seven sixes are forty two. 
I'm actually gonna go and try and get some copper. I'm thinking, oh, this is dangerous. What should I do about that? Yeah, maybe a second warrior to go up there. I wanna get the copper, but yeah, it's dangerous for sure. Dangerous to not have copper as well, you know? This would be nice as well. Let's get some copper, then we'll be safe from bubs. They will attack any minute now. Kind of need to... ...wake up. Uh, maybe the hammers is okay, because I want to get a warrior with the overflow, I'm thinking. Got the golds? Heck yeah. Philadelphia, one turn. Hell yes, dude. Um, there would be nice. So, we're gonna... Oh, god, this is what I'm scared of. Do I have odds? 50 plus 50 plus 25 plus 25, that's 150, that puts me out of 5, that's a 4. I have 67%, I think. Yeah, dangerous, 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 dangerous. We're playing with fire here. It could be spearmen, who I'm about to settle as well. We don't have it connected, so I can't move that warrior yet. Okay. Yes, dude! The Spearman Killer! What's the plan? He is friggin' Giga Chap, dude. He. This fucking warrior, dude. He went all the way to Alaska, fought off a million bastards in the forest, came back, and killed a Spearman, and he's still going big. Like. That's a fucking gamer, dude. <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> um, <laughs> you don't get much better than that. What a fucking beast of a unit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna shuffle you across, and you're gonna fill the gaps, and then um, you're gonna... Make sure we're hopefully safe up there. And we'll send to you just as backup, just in case. Okay, we got the um, gold, so we have happiness. We can grow. We're waiting on Mason. No, we're waiting on a lighthouse to be built. Lol. Getting kind of late here. I'm cutting it close. I hope I can get it. Playing a bit dangerously. I'm trying to keep up with my expansion and development at the same time. So I'm being kind of slow with the Great Lighthouse, but I have five cities at 1700 BC and a functional economy. That's nuts. Um, if we look at demographics, I'm fourth out of 18 civs. So, hell yeah, dude. That's pretty good. Okay, so, so, 11 more turns until we get the deer. Yeah, we want some cottages for sure. I reckon we come back and start chopping the lighthouse. Also get some roads going while we're at it. We do lighthouse here because of... Organized? Plus one food or is the granary still better? I'd say lighthouse maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But maybe. Need a work boat. Oh, dude, so much I have to do. Oh, that's another bunch of hammers. That's kind of yikes. Mm. No, don't delay Grey Lighthouse. We just deal with it, I guess.
Iron yet? Iron working? Jaguars? No? Okay, cool. Um, we'll need to send a worker up there. After the cottage, I don't know, yeah, we need to definitely get a... We could go archery. It is from their foes, not their friends. It'd be a lot more safer than waiting for freaking copper, that's for sure. I like the idea of going archery, personally. I can afford it now, I've got everything else other than writing. I'm not going to be building libraries just yet, though. I'm going to think of our militaristic side of things as well, that we probably want... Reporting for duty. Um... At your service. We probably want barracks and some orders. units in case of any sudden attack. We can't see if he's plotting or not until we meet the Hyanna Capac. So that's pretty sketch. Um, I can probably- I can settle that now, I have sailing. Well, let's- Okay, we got a warrior. That's fine, he's stopping more assholes from spawning. I think we'll be okay. Probably get an archer up there ASAP too. Okay. So, you finished that. Yeah, we're getting the road up and running nice and early. Should be helpful. Yeah, you stay there. You're stopping stuff from spawning, but now this is a problem here. Obviously, we need to come up with a more long-term solution, but it's okay for now. Yeah, we're very late on this. I need to go and need? shop, really, and stop roading, I think. Orders. Start chopping. Reporting for duty. No, he's going back. That's good for us. Getting expensive now. Yeah, there's so much land to cover. This is obviously very difficult to do efficiently. Paying some unit cost as well. Gained another population. Helps a bit. Pyramids. Okay, yikes. That's pretty yikes. We might get more spears coming in soon if we're not careful. Oh god, 19 turns. Yeah, we're cutting it real close, that's for sure. 10 turns. Orders pop and I get that. a bit of a stretch here, but let's just hope it works out. Yes. We are going to shave off a bunch of turns on this. By chopping. I want to get my good guy with woodsman on the front lines, most likely. So we'll make some switches here in a moment. Man, I would almost wait for archers. Uh, Warrior for happiness is a fine choice, though. Okay, warrior. Ready for action. What's the plan? Get archery. 
Here we'll tip up with the Varex into like an archer or something. Start getting archers out. Do not throw the Don't arrow think we need which animal will return against you. Okay, that warrior's being pretty chill. I'm totally okay with keeping him alive. Need this guy here to stop a dude from spawning there. That would be a disaster if that happened. Okay, in a pretty good spot. And we'll two-pub whip that barracks once we hit size 4 there. You can now go back to this. Might actually keep that. Chop that, come back and chop that or something. So we'll chop that and this guy finish that. This guy can go here and work on that. We should have it in eight or nine turns. This is super sketch though. Ugh, I don't like it. <laughs> A little bit late. I'd like to have it around now. Oh, I knew you would do that, you little punk. Okay, this is dangerous. I kind of have to go back. Oh, good. That cut off three turns. Yeah, with five chops... We might be okay. we got three more chops about to come as well. Yeah, we should have it in like five or six turns. But... Whew. I don't know, dude. Okay, that's good. He attacked my big guy and badly wounded him, but we didn't die. Which is what matters. We're gonna go cut this boat. Then we got a whip and monument to the sides too there. Archers still, huh? He hasn't researched Dino and King. Go writing and open borders with them in a minute. What's the plan? I can hook that up. Yes. I'll wait in your order. Oh, Monty's helping out here in the north. It's very nice of him. I think we should do this though. Keep working. Good tile. Get an archer for defense. Chop. I don't think I can actually grow anymore, can I? No, I cannot. So that's very unfortunate. Uh, that's disgusting, but. No, dude, don't do that. We'll get this in a minute and then we can swap stuff around. Just go on, avoid growth. Yeah. Could hurry it. I'm gonna have two chops in a sec, so... Don't think I should hurry it. This will get those two both done. Hell yeah. Chopping there now. It's under control, kind of. Pulled ahead of him in score. Eat that, you bastard. Oh, that What's basically finishes it. I didn't even need that chop. Cool. Yeah, like one or two more turns for that guy. Um, get the boat so I can then whip a monument. At your service. Probably put you like up there. Oh, 
Okay, phew, kind of late, but hey. Five cities, great lighthouse, 1350 BC, we're freaking pumping, dude. I need uh, to explore this coast, actually, is what I need to do. Or maybe I'll be okay. I think I'll be okay, because it's connected to the river, which connects to the city, and... As soon as I open borders, I should get the trade routes. Um... Galley? Maybe another settler. Just keep pumping, dude. Now we really need to do the cottage thing. I'm gonna go nuts on cottages now. Getting some archers, so we will be okay. I think you can finally move on. We have this covered. Hell yeah. Making progress. Heck yes, dude. He's still on archers only. Unlucky for him. I'm getting that next turn, so that'll be nice. Um, shareable tiles first. Because we're limited by happy caps, so we want all our cottages to be worked at all times. We want to have the best possible few cottages to work. any great uh, generals yet? No, they've been peaceful. Archers, yeah, we're still fine. Got the fish, dude. Heck yes. I will actually get this if I get another border pop in uh, New York, I believe. Two cities beats one. One archer! Mm, he's pretty weak. I think he's trying to expand up here and stuff, but uh, yeah. Archer's coming though, we're okay. Corner G, you bastard, what are you gonna do now, huh? Don't think this is a city that you actually whip. This month. Maybe I shouldn't whip it and I should just like chop it. Might be better. True glory consists in doing what deserves to be written, in writing. What deserves to be read. No, I should whip it. Get it as early as possible. I don't want to wait another five freaking turns. Just chop the granary. Okay, next. What are we researching next? Monarchy would be nice. We have a choice, so, but I think, between monarchy, currency, we could do the literature thing. 
I wouldn't say that's so important with such a huge empire. The bigger your empire is, the less important that stuff is. The more important it is to go for other stuff. Um, Colossus could be pretty cool. Industrious, you know, with copper. Man, that's tempting. I'm gonna get copper. And build metal units. I might go. Might give it a shot. Early Colossus? It's possible. Keep expanding. Don't stop expanding. We've got fur to get, which will be more happiness. I believe there's like gems and stuff over there. Let's expand. Hell yeah, dude. And I reckon a library next in here. We'll have happiness issues, but that's okay. Where the hell do you think you're going, you little bastard, dude? Being a prick, making my guys get off of their posts. Yeah, see, we haven't had a single barb come through the left there, which is nice. Okay, 15 turns, we get copper. Archer. Jaguars. Oh, I forgot about this. Ah, oh, it's only four gold, but yeah, because he doesn't have that many cities. Um, he's got Jaguars, I need to build units and defend, I think. Where do you think you're going, you little prick? I can just kill him there, though. Okay, you know what? You do, you dude. What's the plan? Reporting for duty. Oh boy, yep, he will be coming. Um, let's get a move on here. He might be plotting already. There's no way of knowing, really. He might demand a fish. Um, we need to really think about defending ourselves. Yeah, it's pretty yikes. I'm gonna hit unhappiness, I can't do too much about that right now. Um, I need to get that copper, we're a bit late. It's gonna get spicy real soon. Okay, well, we can... Library would be nice, for sure, but I think I'll really want to go barracks. Hmm, I could whip the library. I'm gonna grab a fur as well. We'll need my workers to hook up the fur. Oh, it's complicated, dude. Okay, so where are we, where are we going to settle? I want the fur. I also want the corn though. I'd almost go like here, dude. And build a freaking lighthouse before. Something like here and. 
here. That settler goes there, that settler goes here. I, I just want the fur. Um, that won't be quite connected by coast, unfortunately, unless I explore. Ah, uh, that's not gonna happen. I have this river here. No, it's, I have the river here. All I have to do is mine that and then, like, road that tile. No, 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 we're, we're all good. What's the plan? We can start heading here and putting roads down, though, that's for sure. Let's do that. Need that fur. Metal casting is a bit of a stretch. I don't know, dude. Could go iron working. I know we have iron somewhere in the capital. That would help a bit. Alphabet. I don't know. I really don't know. What's the plan? Forges might be fine, really. These are combat guys, they're not city raider guys. I don't think he's going to attack it just yet, but um Oh shit. Okay, 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 I'm scared now. Um okay. Um okay. That was quick. What the hell? He's getting real serious. Um, forget the granary, dude. Make that an archer. Okay, 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 okay. He's not screwing around anymore. <laughs> Where's that tile, actually? Tell me what to do. What's the plan? Twelve more turns. Oh. He moved him off somewhere. Don't know what he's doing. Oh my god, the bloody squeaky toy. What the hell, dude? No, dude. this in 11 turns which means we can mine for four turns cottage for six turns and then go there I think that's the play or we'll just finish the mine not a bad choice either really give me production to build the lighthouse I'm gonna whip when I can there uh, yeah that sucks but what can you do okay start fortifying dude Start. I need to get rid of that tile as well, actually. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that, though. Don't have metal. What do you need? Oh, hello. I'm still covering everything like that. My arch is kind of doing something. Metal casting is a questionable choice, but it gives us happiness, production, and potentially a wonder or a bunch of failed gold. I think it's a good pick. We need it anyway at some point for the stuff, so. How are you doing? I think it's a good pick. Um, yeah, get the archer. Oh, I should have... I was supposed to cancel that road. That was stupid. What the hell am I doing? Tell me what to do. That's what happens when you AFK. There's, like, no point in settling that just yet. Yeah, gated by happiness. 
is. It's unfortunate. Could mine and help with the fur, actually, and then come back for the copper since we still got nine more turns to go. This is gonna take so long to get friggin' metal casting. Oh, it's gross. Okay, we're gonna go try and finish this oracle. Fairly late. Pyramids went early though, so like, who knows. Stuff is definitely going. Get the granary first. Then we can like, whip a lot more freely. And I have the economy. Oh, I don't like this tag team on my Giga Chat. How about no? And he will come for us. I don't know when, but he will eventually. Say monument first, maybe. Lighthouse only gives one tile. Got a monument, then got the lighthouse, and we suddenly become amazing. Can just about go for it. Get the library here. Whip it into Archer. Yeah, get the libraries and then push, maybe. I like that idea. We'll whip this as well into... I don't think I go Granary. I think I actually go Barracks because... I'm gonna... not whip much more for a while after that one whip. Yeah, I, li I like this play. Whip libraries, then turn up the slider. The perfect time. Need workers there. Oh god, they're being pricks. Got my archer though. Um, they might bother me here actually. That guy doesn't actually have to be there too. Gee, that's almost better, isn't it? Yeah, we're kind of screwed a bit by the happiness thing. We will get the fur, but it's eroded as well. Yeah, this guy has time to go here and help for a couple turns and come back for the copper. Both can go to the copper. No, I can't accept this dude. Just do that. Um, you... I just work with cottages at all costs, honestly. Who cares? Okay, slider up. Big boost to research there. It's only going to get better. That's good. Your yeah, they're kind of ignoring me. I don't actually like that too much, dude. I could dump that into a unit and finish it later. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I like this idea. Okay, cool. We just got 10 turns of peace. I need a worker here. We're nearly done with the. Oh, okay. This guy can go help here. I shouldn't settle that, really. It's just gonna hurt me. Currently. Just to block that bastard off. You rein the unit cost. God. Ready for action. Okay, well we can do that though. Have fortify. Good. Awaiting your 
<laughs> Giga Chad. Nearly got the heroic epic now. He's insane. Reporting for duty. What do you need? He is a beast. Yeah, let's get rid of that too. Um, put that in too. Tell me what to do. First coming in two turns now. He's up here, I don't like that. What do you need? Could do that actually. Hmm. You might like me a bit. Wouldn't guarantee safety, but... What does it do? Reduce the chance I do get attacked. Well, he can't plot for 8 more turns. We can decide that in 7 turns. If I get it in, like, cities that actually need happiness... Might be worth it, though. Not sure about the whole metal casting thing. That's an interesting idea for sure, though. Two units now. Yeah, you can't plot in the peace treaty. So. Now we get in position and go for this for real now. I think yes, we are connected. I didn't even read that. I don't know how that's connected. Maybe the lakes. I, I don't know how it works, dude, but uh, I won't complain. We got fur, dude. Hell yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, really need some commerce here in the capital. You can do that. Need more workers. That's actually not a bad rate. It would let my whip anger kind of tick down a bit as well if I just don't whip the worker. I'd do that. Silver? Ooh. Oh, he demanded my friggin... Yeah, but that's better than getting attacked. We can do this and renegotiate it in 10 turns, to be honest. Uh, could also give him marble that I haven't improved. I probably should be improving that tile. Oh, hell yes, dude. I don't think you build a, um, Granary there for a while. I'm gonna really slow down in growth soon. I'm gonna mine a tile and just leave it to slow build dudes, I think. What's going on here? I wanna. Oh, yeah, he's coming. Um, actually. I wanna settle the gem. I know there's gems over there somewhere. I want that. I, I want it. So, we'll go for that. So. Um, lighthouse here. 
Can get whipped. Can get a three fit tile out of that. In library. Need workers though. Need workers because we're still expanding. Why am I doing archer in here? And granary. Yeah, I really need to get onto the worker thing. I've got a few dudes though, do I not? Oh wow, he's taken everything. Okay, let's see what he's doing now. Yikes. That's actually pretty yikes. I need to get up here. Yes. And he's just playing it peaceful and getting real big. Kind of scary. Hmm. Playing the long game, Monty. We will start really pressuring that pretty soon. Interesting to see what happens. Do we whip this or do we still have whip anger? We might still have whip anger in here. Yeah, we do. Maybe we shouldn't whip it just yet. Okay, but it's ignored this, so I'm gonna go for it. Settle like right there, dude. On a hill across the river as well, who have a hard time getting me. Yeah, I want that. Pretty beautiful spot. time because I'm about to get metal casting now. Whoops. Oh, barracks rather than not granary, but yeah, yikes. He's got less whip anger. 25, 21. We need to get on with that and get over there. That's not good. At your service. The war will definitely happen. There's no way this is lasting the whole game. Spearman, he's got metal. Yeah, he's gonna get frisky. Oh, he's getting barbed. No, wait, it's coming for me. No, dude. No. happy for a second then I realized it's gonna Your orders. cuck me Archer coming oh this is your chance Giga Chad so get that heroic epic do I just whip this for duty. oh that's so bad without a granary I could get that five turns faster though I kind of have to. Does that make the metal cast? No, it doesn't really make a difference anymore. Oh my, okay, we're getting that though. That'll help big time. Um, I want a two pop. Oh no, I don't want a two pop with anything. Because I just whipped. Oh, that's so good, yeah. Um, how do I fight this? I'm only a four versus a three, there's no guarantee on that. Awaiting your orders. I think you go on the silver. No, he had silver, but I can cancel it. And we just lost our peace treaty. He will plot pretty soon. Uh, once he gets catapults, we're in big trouble, to be honest. I don't see them yet, but... Can't be too far away. We got metal, though. That's... Exciting.
Academy would be really good, I think. Maybe I should have done that earlier, but it's okay. Interesting idea. I mean, if I work the copper mine, I don't have to whip the monument, I'll just slow build it. Maybe it's okay, eh? And chop the lighthouse there. Yes. This is all connected by the river, so it's kind of like whatever to build the roads. Or maybe it's not. No, I need to road these two. Ready for action. Need to get archers in there. Oh, that's such an annoying spot to defend as well. Yeah, this will be tough, for sure. Hard to out expand the AI, even Immortal, it's tough. I think he's settled a lot of crappy spots. Well, I think that one's a good spot, but he has settled a lot of crap. At the same time, so maybe we'll be okay. And we have a clean shot at the heart of his empire. Like, that's his second city. His capital must be here. Take these two out, and then he's, like, done for. Um, when will I attack? I don't know, really. I mean, I could go engineering. Metal cast, I mean, machinery would be really good against him. Um, Freaking crossbow, his jaguars and crap. He has no counter to crossbows. But we'll definitely think about that in the next session. We want to think about our economy too. We can't just go straight up caveman. I'm thinking metal casting, maybe I... Math, currency, code of laws, it up. Construction engine, I don't know. Flick in machinery. I mean, if I just have crossbows in my city for defense, he's gonna really struggle. So I could get machinery. That's um, 24 turns, dude. I don't know. But alright, I'll leave it there, um, and continue next time. We made it to metal casting, pretty decent date. We're gonna give the Colossus a go. No idea if it's gonna happen, but cheap forges, and plus two happiness on the forges. I think it's a good choice, it's like monarchy kind of. I get the buildings cheap, and I get that extra production to help me in the warfare, so... I think it's not a bad pick at all, um, pretty cool offbeat strategy. Colossus will be a nice bonus. Not a huge amount of water tiles, but a decent amount. If I don't get it, I get failed gold, so it's good either way. Um, and then, uh, yeah. We will probably have some conflict. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll be back.